What's up guys, Grim here. We're going to try out these new souls that just came out and of course the warrior one is going to be the liberator. We're going to go ahead and spec into it and see what all it comes with because I didn't do any of the test stuff. So we're going to have to see it from a fresh new point of view here. And oh, somebody in my guild is saying hi. I've got to say hi back. So, let's see here. Our soul trees. We are currently running the Warlord Paladin build that I run all the time. Well, I wonder if that's going to be changed now that the Liberator soul is out. So, let's go ahead and go to... Uh, let's go this test one here. So, we'll activate this and then reset it. And Greetings. reset my soul. Alright, we may be in business. Let's see here. Oh, they've already got a Liberator preset out. Look at this. Uh, the Aromancer is capable of high sustained group or raid healing with heal over time effects like mass casualty response and corrective measures. When burst healing is needed, use medical facility to pump out successful successive cast of deliverance or fast relief. The Aromancer is also quite adept at Mitigating damage taken by the party with mass rescue, redress, and whatever that is. How to play. Group assistance or deliverance are your bread and butter party heals in addition to your heal over time effects. Liberation, treatment, quick remedy, and extraordinary care can be used to spot heal spot heal and protect other party members aside from the tank with points in comfort zone persecute and mass op oppression become party heals okay become party heals as well while dealing damage to foes tip use group assistance to build attack points if your group raid doesn't need heals, use Persecute or Mass Oppression to damage the targets. Make sure you keep Mass Casualty Response at 3 stacks and correct the measures up at all times. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. So... Alright, so should we just go ahead and pick this and run into a warfront and see how it does? Let's do this. Select. Alright, we are probably going to have to... Uh, Make sure that we read the instructions multiple times because this is going to be a catastrophe. Let's go ahead and get the buffs all set up. We're just going to throw, well, wait a minute. Only one Aegis can be active at a time. Okay, healing finishers add a buff on the warrior, reducing damage taken. Okay, adds a shield. So, using any damaging abilities gives the warrior a 20% chance to grant an absorption shield, absorbing up to 2,000. Okay. Hmm. So. So, we got finishers, huh? Hmm. get all buffed up here I don't know if I'm using the right buffs but we're gonna roll with it that's what I think
Okay, we got a crowd control here, which is a stun, an AoE stun. Alright. So, that's what we're going to be using. What else do we got here? We got a cleanse. Um, let's go ahead and put the... Let's put the cleanse right there. Okay, what's this other stuff do? Alright, we need to read the instructions again. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting so lost on this. Anything new is always hard to grasp. Okay, presets. Aromancer, we are going to... How to play. Um, group assistance or deliverance. Okay, where are those abilities? Uh, there's first aid. Deliverance. Oh, deliverance, here. Uh, restores. It's got a 1.5 cast time. Restores lots of health up to 10. Okay, it's an AOE heal. All right. And group assistance is the the one that we're okay right beside it. All right. Uh, restores awards and attack point. Okay. Um. All right, these are adding attack points. All right, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. All right. Um, what are our finishers? And I'm getting text messages while I'm recording. Uh, what are our finishers? What are our finishers? Adds an absorption shield, mass rescue. Uh, removes the cast time of deliverance and fast relief. Removes the attack point requirement for deliverance. What? Deliverance? It requires. Oh, okay. Requires two attack points. All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, what? All right. Whew. It's kind of rough learning something new here. Okay. Uh, how should I do all this to where it's easiest on me? Uh, okay. All right, we're just going to throw all this stuff off of the main bars here so I can get some of it lined out. Uh, so we need attack generating or attack point generating maneuvers down at the beginning here so it's easy for me to follow. Uh, of course, we don't have macros going right now. Uh, macros would take way too much time right now. So... Uh, it says that okay this is the attack this is going to generate attack points with uh, an attack so and it's an instant so looks like it does really terrible damage but we'll see we'll see okay so mass suppression is going to be our main attack I think. Okay, this is going to be our finisher. Does it got a timer? Uh, it's got a cast time for a finisher. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Group assistance is going to be our heal. Um, we're not going to bother with the shields and stuff. That's pretty much what we need to put into macros. So... Removes the cast time. Uh, yeah, that, that's stuff down the line, definitely. Okay, we got a. Is it a battle res? Yes, it is. Usable in combat. All right. So we got a battle res there. Uh, Aegis. Oh yeah, yeah. We already looked at that. That's a buff. Um, persecute. That deals a little more damage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's an AOE damage, and this is uh, a direct damage. Let's go with direct damage instead. Okay, AOE heal, and then our finisher here. Uh, first aid will be... Hmm... This is going to be rough. 
This is going to be so rough. Uh, I guess right there. Oh, deals additional earth damage per attack point. Okay. So we got a big finisher right here. So should this be our finisher or should... Yeah, I think so. All right. Oh, is that a heal over time there? Yeah. Okay, mass oppression. All right. We're just basically going to operate on these four abilities right here and see how it works out. Well, we're going to have our... Well, okay. We need to look at our other soul trees. We've got other abilities. Why aren't we looking at them? Okay, we got Warlord here. Ooh, we got our snare and oh, a pull. Yeah, we got a pull. All right, that's good. Recovery posture. Not bad. Not bad. Breaking blow and all that. Yeah, we don't want any of that. I don't believe. Oh, bull rush. We got a charge. Uh, punishing blow. Hmm. I don't guess so. All right. We got another buff. Let's queue up for a war front. We are going to go into this one with a blind rage. Okay, we got uh, Persecute, which is going to be our main damage. Uh, and people are blowing up my phone while I'm recording. But this is going to be our main damage, which looks like absolutely terrible damage. Oh, man. We need macros so bad. But this is going to be our AOE our AOE heal. And then, oh man, we need to switch this. Okay. Okay, this is our single target heal, single target damage. We've got a finisher here. And then we got an AOE heal. And then a cleanse. And then we got our charge, our pull. This is going to be a catastrophe. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a catastrophe. Alright. Let's do this. We're queuing up. YOLO. Alright, so we are doing this. And we got the pop. So let's go with the Swarfront. Oh no, I don't even have my rave frames up. Man, okay. Let's uh let's uh add a gadget. Raid frames, create. Move on down here. Alright, let's do this. So I'm gonna have to heal single target. There's my damage. AoE heal. Okay. Oh boy, we're in so much trouble. So, let's run down here. Oh, I, man, I don't have my macros for uh, mouse over, so I'm going to have to click on each person. Is it not working? Why isn't it working? What? Oh, that's my damage. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Let's heal some of these people. Let's get a little more of a viewpoint, though. Alright. So, let's cast some damaging. Let's go ahead and charge in at this guy. Oh, yeah. Let's do a finisher. <laughs> a finisher that isn't working? No! This is a catastrophe. Am I healing? Yeah, I'm healing. Alright. All right, got to get you out of the danger zone, sir. Get away, man. Get away. Quit taking so much damage. Cause I want an AOE heal. Oh, oh, got to save the healer. Got to save the healer. I'm saving you, man. I'm saving you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> I 
Very nice. Let's do some AOE heals. Feel like a bard. And it's all instants. Okay. This is pretty cool so far, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay alive, sir. Stay alive. I'll d and my phone's still going off. Why are people trying to contact me once I start a video? Okay. I guess we need to go ahead and charge in at some people. Come on, finisher. Oh, it's a cast time finisher. I forgot. Oh, man. Whoa, that's a lot of people up there. I've totally got to get used to this. This is going so poorly. Oh, I don't have any of my big heals or anything ready to go. And we are getting out of there. Yeah, people are targeting me. I'm a healer. Don't worry about me. I'll heal through all of your damage. You are nothing to me, sir. I have no fear. And it seems like we're, okay, our stone carriers are going up the other side. <laughs> yeah. The juke. It is real. Yeah. <laughs> I can see myself liking this spec. I can see myself liking this spec a lot, as a matter of fact. I've just got to get used to it. But, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, with all of them down here, that means that we're going to win the match pretty fast. These guys are... Oh, are you trying to fight me? Are you trying to fight me? I've got no macros at all, and I'm only using four buttons. But, unless you've got a healer, I will kill you. This is so weird. I'm doing almost no damage to this guy. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> uh, new spec. New spec. Liberator may be cool though. And we win! That is a victory, sirs. Let's see how we done. Okay. We know we got no killing blows at all. But that isn't the point. We're a healer. Okay, how much damage did we do? Alright. <laughs> I joined this late. That's my excuse. Alright. Uh, damage taken. Alright. Healing done. Now this is where... Wow. There was a lot of healers. But we did all right. I mean, I was definitely not healing very good, and this is my first take on it altogether. Uh, healing taken. Yeah. All right. As you can see, I joined late, and I wasn't really using all of my abilities to their fullest extent. I was definitely uh, just one button pushing kind of thing you know to where I didn't have any macro set up and I was forgetting which buttons I had where anywhere so this is my first take on it and from the little bit of a rough run you just seen I think Liberator may be a very cool spec I mean I kind of like the idea of me being able to go out there and maybe stack a lot of Warlord or Paragon into my build and doing a lot of damage and then being able to turn around and AOE heal or something else. You know, I'm not too sure how far everything up is in the Liberator tree. So I don't know how easy it will be to spec into all of those heals and stuff. But I'm sure there will probably be some builds and stuff that we can run to make it work really good for DPS specs as well. We'll see. You know, we already got a very good DPS healing uh, tree with the Warlord Paladin build that I usually run. So I'm real anxious to try this out some more and actually get some macros done and all of that stuff. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my first take on the Liberator Soul, and I will be doing one for every single soul coming up. Well, I've already got all of the souls. It's just a matter of testing them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hit the like button if you did. And as usual, be sure to be subscribed, and my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.